Hey everybody, this is ZBrush 4R7 and I'm taking a look at the brush drop down. We are on curve. Okay, so let's uh, figure this out together. Uh, right now I've got uh, BCB or the clay build up brush. Right, that's what that looks like. Undo, okay. Now brush curve, edit curve, let's see. So when I adjust it, let's tweak it a little bit, see if we can get different results. Reset, let's push it all the way up. Hmm, I'm having a hard time seeing the effect. Oh, here, this will be easier. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, let's control D a few times. Nice. Okay, two million. That's good. Now, this is what my brush looks like. Okay. Perfect. Let's turn on drag dot just so we can get a better idea. Okay. Control Z. I think I've got it divided too many times. So... Okay, 720,000. Yeah, that'll work better. This is what our brush looks like right now. But when we, let's adjust this and see if that affects the brush that is laid down. Okay. Hmm, let's see. It definitely had an effect. Nice. Let's increase that so it's really dramatic. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, then probably let's add some noise. Reset. Noise. And then adjust it. And that will probably have a much different look. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. Now, reset. If you find something you like, you can obviously tile it several times, which creates... Ooh, that's interesting. Whoa, smooth that out. That is pretty cool. Just from switching one little dial on this curve palette. Okay, you can copy stuff, reset stuff, flip vertically. Ooh, that would have the opposite effect. Uh, F to frame, pushing in, okay, so that, let's smooth that out to see what that looks like. Nice, now we've got a, got an alien with uh, two crazy eyebrows and ears, okay, nice. You can, let's see, if you made some adjustments and you're like, oh man, I shouldn't have done that, no, horrible, well, wait, hold on. That might actually work. Ooh, fancy. Sweet. Okay. Control Z. I don't like that brush effect. So, undo. And it goes back to the one you had before. And keeps going back. Ooh, I liked the original, so redo. I like that. Let's see what that does. Perfect. I love this brush. Ooh, it's a nice mouth. Okay. You can copy, so copy and then paste, save it, load it if you wanted to. Okay, Accu Curve. Ooh, let's see what this is. I have never opened up this little or played with this little window. Accu Curve to reduce the de uh, demands on your system when doing complex sculpting. ZBrush may use internally a slightly modified version of the edit curve defined in the user interface this will not normally be noticeable if you believe that sculpting is not showing all of the details you've defined in the edit curve turn accu curve on alternatively if you find sculpting slower than you'd like try turning accu curve off okay so that is probably just like a performance booster for your computer
Right. Yeah, I definitely don't see it now. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. See if that has a different effect. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so that that is just in case your computer is having trouble. Wrap mode. If we turn that up, let's see what this is. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, values of wrap mode higher than one will be uh, will be multiple copies of a stroke to be applied to a model at the same time. Wrap mode is normally best used with models that are symmetrical and simple in their rough form. A primary use is with planes to permit quick production of tileable alphas from a plane mode since a single brush stroke can be set to produce multiple strokes that preserve edge tileability. Ooh, I said that pretty well. Tileability. <laughs> Sometimes I don't say that right. Tileability. <laughs> um, preserve edge tileability. The amount of work required is reduced. Experimentation with sculpting a plane at different values of wrap mode is one of the best ways to understand it. Okay, you can use planes. Or I like spheres. Let's work on our whoop. Zero, after frame. Let's see. We've got that turned on. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we've got it ramped up. So it should. Oh, that's exciting. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. What did I just learn? I have never used that before. Never, ever, ever. Tileable. That's exciting. Cool. I love textures. I love making textures. Let's turn that back down. You can't see it. Of course you can see that. Okay. Ooh, that's exciting. Does it tile all the way around your mesh or object? Ooh, I'm, ex I'm, I'm curious. Let's see what that looks like on a plane. Nice. Okay, well, okay, there's a plane. Now we've got our brush. Okay, this is what it looks like with one. Ah, nope, make polymesh three. Okay. No! Okay, there we go. That's what it looks like with one. Control Z. Let's control D a few times. Yeah, 200,000. 200, that's good. Okay, this is what it looks like with one. Control Z. This is what it looks like with two. Oh my gosh. Tileable. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. What did I just find? Let's see. Uh, brush. Three. This could get this could get exciting. Whoa, what is that? Interesting. Three, four. Sweet. I figured out how to make blinds. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, five. Control Z. What's going on? Let's in whoop, not Z sub, Z add. Let's increase the intensity. Okay, it's at five. And that's weird. What's going on? I can't see anything. Brush Z six. And I can't see anything on five. Six. So if we go back down to two, it was probably too much for this. Uh, oh, maybe I could uh, control Z, go back up to six and then uh, shrink my brush. Now, let's do it a little smaller. Ah, there we go. Oh my gosh. A tiled floor. That's exciting. Sweet. We're learning stuff. And then you can do it multiple times to create whatever you want to. Whoa, I'm excited. That is brush curve, curve wrap mode. Whoa, that's exciting. Okay, curve by pen. Interpolate curve by pen pressure. Now, luckily, I have a Wacom tablet pen thing, so let's control Z a few times. Let's see what it says. Uh, when the curve by pen button is activated, ZBrush will use the zero curve as the modifier for the brush when the pressure is low, and when the pressure is high, ZBrush will transition into the edit curve to modify the brush's overall curve. That made a whole bunch of sense. Okay, let's use my brush. So if you're trying to follow along, make sure you're using a brush. Okay. 
Now lightly, lightly, hard, no, wait, um, oh, I don't want that, hide, okay, brush, okay, that's an, oh, that did something, okay, okay, lightly, lightly, hard, um, what is that doing? It's creating dots. I've just gone mad. Okay, I'm not sure if my pen's broken. Oh, let's see if these are also part of this. So zero curve. The zero curve will be applied to a brush when the curve by pen button is on and low pressure is being applied to the surface. When pressure is increased, the curve that modifies the brush will be transferred to the edit curve. Again, that made lots of sense, so let's open up the brush and adjust this. So it's really crazy. Okay, does that look different than this? No. Let's see. Okay, ooh, that. Okay, very, very lightly. <gasps> okay, I see. I'm just lightly touching it. Lightly touching it. A little harder. Ooh. And a little harder. Oh, you can see it in real time. I'm moving it around, but I'm... Ooh, that's exciting. Let's increase the draw size. And uh, really hard. Or really light. Oh. I just laid a soft brush stroke. Or really hard. Cool, okay, I understand now. Now let's see if we can uh, adjust this. I'm not sure what this is going to do. Probably cool stuff. Oh yeah, trippy. Alien buttons. Okay, <clears throat> go back, back, back. Okay. Whoa. Okay, undo. Okay, so when I apply lightly, I get this. And when I go harder, I get this. Lightly, harder, trippy, okay. Well, that's exciting. So really hard, I get this. And then soft, I get that. So cool, that, that can be very handy. I should remember that. With everything that's in ZBrush, I'm gonna remember this. Well, there we go. Okay, close this. Oh, you can tile it too. Wait, go back. Okay, yeah, tile. Two thumb. Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. It'll be really freaky, I think. Okay, light or just this. I'm pushing down pretty hard. Then light. Oh yeah, it's a rainbow. I am adjusting my pressure on my Z tablet, Wacom tablet thing, to get different effects. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, lightly, lightly. Hard, hard. Cool, okay, I understand. Whoa, pretty trippy. Okay, let's close that, and then hopefully this pen curve is even cooler. Oh, let's see what it said. Close, pen curve. The pen curve is the curve that sets the transition between the edit curve and zero curve when the curve by pen is active. Curve, 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 curve. Makes no sense. Let's see. Control Z, let's go back. Okay. Ooh, okay, oh, that, sorry, that's with my mouse. Now, lightly. Hard. No, I didn't see anything there. Uh, let's go this way. Lightly, hard, lightly. Oh, it's like pushing into the surface more. So if I want to just lightly tap on the surface, I just lightly press down, or really press hard to get a different effect. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And we can edit the slider. 
so let's do this and that will give me like one bubble thing I believe okay now let's make the mouth look funny oh let's tile this sweet okay now it'll be fun and lightly lightly hard pressure I don't know I'm not seeing too much with that undo okay moving on let's see okay that was a nice full look at curve pretty exciting I'm gonna use this a lot in my projects thanks for watching everybody